Welcome back, guys, to Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, where last episode we finally reached Mount Coronet's peak to find Team Galactic's leadership awaiting. The Cyrus summoned forth Dialga, chaining it to his will to achieve his goals as we first battled through Commanders Mars and Jupiter with our rival's help before the late Guardians appeared to break Dialga free of Cyrus's control, and we then battled Team Galactic's boss to destroy his plans. Afterwards, Dialga awaited for us to capture it as we added the mythical being in control of time to our Pokedex, and now we continue on. You know, that Pokemon really was extraordinary, wasn't it? Was it really the Pokemon that created the Sinnoh region? Well done, Rio. I'll be looking forward to seeing your Pokedex. Go places you've never visited before. That way you should encounter Pokemon you haven't yet seen. Alright, I'm supposed to go back to Sunny Shore City. Which was this way. What if I go check out these things? Are they there yet? Are they there now? Are they in the thing? Do they want me to catch them too with quick balls? The best ball, obviously, that exists in the game. Can't fly from here. Yeah. Why did you not me to do the thing? I also take an adamant orb. Uh, I don't think I need to use a repel. I'll just use an escape rope. Wow. Can't hop over that little bit. Why do you guys think I'm lucky for catching a quick ball? Isn't that exactly what a quick ball's supposed to do? I mean, come on. Let's face it. That's what a quick ball is. <laughs> It's just a quick ball and I won. I'm pretty sure I've done this before in Pokemon Let's Plays. I just see, oh, legendary quick ball. Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> Let's move on then. This is the modus operandi here. my uh, Nintendo Switch hacking skills where I change the time ever so slightly and it puts my catch rate to a billion. It took you one hour to catch with a quick ball, software saying each time. Were well, you going for shinies as well, though? I should probably teach false swipe. Just in case I ever get into an actual battle where I uh, need to do more than <laughs> what I just did. So we'll have instead of uh, sword dance. Sure, even though sword dance is obviously good. Want to keep a normal type attack. Got free tech typings. So equally, it would be probably good to change for like ice punch or something. Wow, <laughs> right, I'm gonna go check out this cave. Hello. Hi. Would you like to get captured? Down. Let's be flew off somewhere. No, don't do this. Oh, was angry. That was Mesprit, wasn't it? You've accomplished what I'd ask you to do with the Calave Library. I asked you to get data on the Pokemon of the Lake, and you did. But it didn't provide any answers about the mysteries of evolution. I still don't know why some Pokemon evolve and others don't. I ultimately only deepen the mystery. But having mysteries to solve, that adds to my enjoyment. Well, Zandri, why don't you chase after Mesprit? To me, it seemed as if it wanted to play with you. If you were to use the marking map app on your Pokedex, you'll be able to track the movements of Pokemon. Hold on, Zandri. I'm sure that you will keep meeting countless Pokemon and people. 
that those encounters will keep thrilling you in their own special ways. I hope you'll enjoy that experience. Take care, Lozandri. No! 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 I'm not chasing so Sween around again. Even though everyone thinks it's called Suikun or something like that. <laughs> not in my childish bad pronunciation eyes. That's not its name. That's not its name. That's not its name. Stacy. Right, so I now have a legendary, but it's still so that's like a gimmick infringement on my uh, my mains typing, you know, my starts typing. Uh, it just it just can't be. I guess we should set them all to running about, and then maybe we'll bump into it as we go. You just never know. So this is the same rules as the legendary dogs, where if you fly, it completely sends them scattered. June. What? What? Oh, you! He did one of them. I thought you were gonna run away. Quick bull, quick bull. Brave in a cave. No, how dare you? Uh, that's zero moves. <laughs> zero moves. <laughs> Alright, Glade, uh, you're a lower level than this dude. Uh, I don't want to kill it. Uh oh. Hmm. I should probably save. <laughs> Get out of here, Rosarine. Do I share any moves with you? Seemingly no. I thought it was going to run away. I was wrong. Don't worry, we're good. I got Stun Spore up, that helps. Don't worry, I'm thinking. Oh no, it's forgot. Maybe he doesn't think I'm in the cave anymore. It's cool. I'm not using that. False swipe, baby. This might take some time, though. Okay, I'm going to use slash. The critical won't kill it. I don't think you use any of the moves I use. Do you have recover? Well, that was a critical hit. Seems you're not very big on the offensive side of things. Okay, now we'll slowly chip it down. Delayed, you're a lower level than it. You gotta fight the legendary. It'll be fine. I believe in you. Just tank this hit somehow. Yeah, see, it was good. Good, 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 good. Brilliant tanking. It's increasing its defense. It doesn't matter. Already got a stats effect. It's down in the red. False swipe. Cannot defeat it. If I were to change to, uh... Empoleon as well now. There's like nothing it can do anymore, right?
Dusk basketball. Dusk ball. Go. Look, Seema scored. Galileo grew to level 46. Gabite grew to level 41. Napoleon is 57 too. Uxie's data will be added to the Pokedex. Known as the being of knowledge, it is said that it can wipe out the memory of those who see its eyes. What? Well, glad it kept its eyes closed. The knowledge Pokemon. <laughs> I need some of that. I'll not give you a nickname. You're a psychic type too. Send it to the box. <laughs> Those legendaries are indeed extremely useful. Well, we beat the space invader one. Lake Valor next, yeah? I guess I'll go from Pastoria. It's easy to reach from the other side. I'll probably run past the entrance again, only. A marking map as well. Do I have that? I'm pretty sure I did. Put a turtle over here. Turtle on your face. Turtle loves square. Excellent. I'm coming for you. Catch me some legendaires. Okay, box legendary corp. Other friendly legendaries will be chased down in time. We have our map up. Now, how does your movement mechanic work? Do you only move when we use thingy? I can walk with Gabite. Come with me, Gabite. I probably should just zip up here first. We found TMO5 Raw! I wanna scare some mons away, it's not a bad idea. We also get that lady back her card key now. Already got the thing now. What am I doing? Bidoof! Bidoof! That's the noise it makes when it hits the rock. Yeah, I guess I could cross this little bit of water. The hell is wrong with you? <laughs> Hi, wave riding trainer. How about a battle on the sea? I don't know. I wasn't expecting. I was, I was going to. Turning down some things and then I saw this route. <laughs> Swimmer Haley, what level are these guys at? Mario. Level 31. Please be still while I drill your marrow. Azumaril. Does that do good damage? Oh, I can't remember actually. Do you think Roserade? can pick anything up with its hands. Do you think it has, like, fingers inside the bouquets? 
or that the leaves themselves are prehensile? Do you think it lures in like bees and stuff and then goes, nom, 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 nom. So she'll score me there. Haha, <laughs> fish joke. Maybe I should switch to surfing too. Oh yeah, it's like there's a whole route down here that we haven't been to yet. There's also someone over here, isn't there? That's from the whole year round. I'm not losing the battle of sea. Well, we just randomly found ourselves some extra water on the Valor Lakeshore. Still normal? No. It's a lot lower level than me. Survived a whole attack. How much damage does that do? Two? You actively avoided side routes to avoid overleveling and you still overlevel? Yeah, I mean, accept it. It's going to happen. Just accept it. Give in. To the dark side. I didn't even realize this was a side route, though. I suddenly surfed downwards and went, oh, that's trainers. Another Gyarados? Man, this guy's been training. He's been working hard on these. Easy. I guess with the level scaling of the enemies around these places. They really do expect you to just surf every place you've seen with water. And then continue on with the game. I lost in the sea, but I swim the whole year round. Of course, it's not always pretty true, but... Yeah, they're a good level for a Gabite to work on, but they were equally... Gabite's not exactly safe. <laughs> and there's also the kind of, like... Speed element. <laughs> It's the speed element I care about more. When you suddenly go from taking one turn to taking several turns, that's a bit... When you have a sea water type Pokemon look more lively. I bet, well they're in their habitat for goodness sake. There's a max revive out here. Hey, welcome to my private beach. This place is wonderful, isn't it? I'll give this to you as a token of our friendship. I got one party stick of B. Not gonna tell anyone else about this place. It'll be our little secret. Hanging out with your wingle, are you? Right, what else can I check over here, to be honest? Some more swimmers we haven't fought. Stop it alone, are you? That's impressive. How about we battle? How'd you get here, mister? You marooned? Doesn't look like you got a boat nearby. It's a weird thing when you think about Gen 1 as well, when you feel like Gyarados is a special thing. It takes a lot of work to get a magic up up to enough to be a Gyarados. <laughs> but like, there's just guys here with just a billion Gyaradoses. 15 billion Gyaradoses. Yeah, see, this is the ping. This is the exact reason. Special attack isn't great. Doesn't have a stab physical attack. I 
And that is my problem with switching in someone like Gabite to train. It's just not efficient. It is actually just as efficient for me to use Luxury, beat it, move on to the next Pokemon, beat that one, and get all the experience in the back. Pretty much. Matchup. How can I beat Matchup easily? Probably not when I think about it. You've always got to weigh up one with the other. Like, Pokemon get more experience when they're the first one doing the thing. But, but, is it really, truly efficient? Like at the moment in a certain game, I'm leveling crafting classes. And in that certain game that I won't mention that everyone knows what it is, I do a group of them at once. At this point in time, I'm going through the level, like the quest levels. Maybe I'll go work out down at the restaurant again. That place gets different people in every day. And they all like battles. I all, I've keep them at the same quest level. So what I can do is I can find out what I need to make for every class. Oh, I can't go that way. I can go round. And then I can go get the materials all together after finding all the materials all out. So I take one trip. Gotta be efficient. I could just do one class. Keep that one going to get it to a higher level faster. It's not as efficient. Simply put. Wingo. It's Barbie Horse Adventure Jet. That's the one. I gotta make sure I've, like, shooed the horses properly. I go, shoo! And then they go away, and that's how you shoot them. Oh, I'm starting to get chilly. I could use a wind to get warmed up. Swimmer Evan has... A gold up. Wow, wow. I said I haven't moved Gabite from the top slot currently. It's all effective. At least Dragon is strong against water. That bounces out a little. It's kind of also a thing, isn't it? Like... Gabite will be a very strong Pokemon. We'll have more stats on average than the average Pokemon, as that is the trend for a lot of the dragons around. But until it's hit that third phase. Not really all that powerful. Now I train all my horses on Barbie Adventure at the same time for maximum efficiency. I have one gigantic treadmill system. And I have them constantly galloping on it. Does not at all sound... <laughs> Animal safe welfare approved, though. That's for sure. Not at all. 666. From the gold up. Chill of the sea, the coldest of defeats. It's a double whammy. Get out then before you have an issue. Look at my lips, they're the color of prunes. Again, get out before you have an issue, you fool. You fool! Hello there, aren't you going to swim? What if I said no? <laughs> I never learned how, Swimmer Mary. You're gonna teach me. <laughs> you can take Pokemon like that as points here, it's pretty good. Ah, 
Now let me reappropriate the energies. I'm looking at the other parts of the physiology of Rosary. Standing on those pegs can't be all that, like, fun balance-wise. Oh, I didn't see what you said. We were going to say the pellet pepper. Oh, neutral. Hey, don't you be drizzling. I never said you could make it rain. I think Paddy Pepper's heavy. I think he's about like eight stone. It's only a kid. Maybe seven. Six. More sodium. My tears or the sea. But oh. There are many sea routes you can swim in Sinnoh. It makes me want to take a vacation the Hoenn region. Ah, is that why this region, like, this bit's here? Oh, we've had a warp stone if we want to go evolve some kind of warp Pokemon. Hey, hey, hey. Gabite, I'm, I'm glad you're happy, Gabite. Thank you. Get out the way. Is there ever anything even down here? Why am I going around this area? Gabite! You're relaxed in the water, are you? Oh, I feel like I've gone on a fool's errand. <laughs> Alright, let's return to this route in a second. Because I'm going to start it from the start again. Um... Let's get a Lake Valor. That was a fail. Give me the bike. Bram. You know where I was supposed to be going? You know that place? I gotta get this lady a card key as well. I don't wanna finish off that route. Gotta get there. Alright, it's first entrance on the left now. Oh, seems like my flying moved a certain Pokemon a little bit nearer. Hello, I'm coming in. <laughs> I'm going to press the save. Do you know what? I'll even go in the options and turn off the autosave, just in case. I wish it autosave was not default on. <laughs> See, here's the thing. People are wishing other things were, like, not default on. I'm like, autosave. Yeah, autosave. That can go. That's the one that matters the most to me as a Let's Player. It always has. The other one is like notifications appearing on your screen. Those suck. Anyway. Let's fight. I missed. Thanks, refilled. It's raining. Oh, it's just a cave. Are you watery? I do wonder. Oh, man. Oh, it's making up nasty plots. This one might be more offensive. That special attack up, isn't it? Oh, I should have used a quick ball. I don't know why I reverted to old school playing. Oh well, I've missed my timing now. Yeah, I did have the sudden realization. 
Free would have been a good, like, like, oh, wait, what, 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 why? Wait, what, what? That's the correct hands. Correct move. That one broke out of it first time, last time. That doesn't mean this one was going to. Oh, you danger. Yeah, full boost to that special set, yeah. Well, it's somewhat low. I don't think I can lower it anymore. Okay. Maximum special attack power right now. Get in the ball. I can't false swipe you anymore. I could try to res <laughs> delayed and send it out to false swipe, but High likelihood of just blooping him down again. But I'll just take the catch. For Gallade. No experience for Gallade. Luxury 58. Gabite's 42. And wants to learn the move Dragon Claw. Gabite, you can indeed learn Dragon Claw. That would be good. I would like that. 80 damage. Uh, instead of Dragon's Breath, that would be a great idea. Cool. Rosary very good at level 57. And we have Azelf. It is known as the being of willpower. It sleeps at the bottom of a lake to keep the world in balance. I will not give it a nickname. Go to the box. To the box. Our poor Gallade got rocked. 